The investigation into the death of eight-year-old Sandra Cantu has led police here to the Clover Road Baptist Church. Uh, there is a church uh, just to the west of us uh, that has been cordoned off that will be searched later today when the evidence response team uh, is completed uh, looking at everything that they gathered last evening. Cantu's body was found stuffed in a suitcase that was dumped in a pond close to this farm. She was last seen on March 27th, and Monday's discovery has shaken the community and the police. I didn't sleep last night. I, I couldn't, I don't know, I was kind of in shock because it was just too much. This is just too much. It's too close to home. When I first heard the news, my reaction was to just pour out with tears. I, I, I started to tear up and I, I couldn't take it. Most of the investigators involved with this are parents. It's very difficult to imagine that as a parent. Professionally, um, it's uh, a factor that's uh, driving everyone to find out who's done this. Police won't say why they're searching this church. The church's pastor lives in the same mobile home park as Cantu and was questioned both before and after Cantu's body was found. For now, the community is trying to rally together and remember a girl they say was God's little angel. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.